This is Blender Challenge 20, and I'm going to create some kind of an underwater exploration submarine. All right, so here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look from the side by pressing number three, and I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. I'm going to leave the default values, go into Edit Mode, and Rotate X90. I'm going to press Z and go into Wireframe and Box Select this part, X Vertices, and get rid of them. Go back into solid view. Press 3 for face selection. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to select, say, maybe that much on this side. And I'm going to press Control 3 and I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm not going to mirror it. I'm just going to do it. Or am I going to mirror it? I don't know. Control 7 to look from the bottom. And I'm going to select that. And I may go one more for the bottom. So I've got that selected. I'm going to press S to scale. I'm going to pull out a little bit like that. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to press 1 for edge selection, or vertex selection. And I am going to, on these sides, I'm going to select this one and this one. And I think I'm going to merge these at last. So I'm selecting this one and then that one. Merge at last. And I'm going to select uh, this one and this one. Merge at last. And I'm going to do that on the other side. So obviously it would be easier if I did mirror it. But I'm not going to Let's see if I came too far for those. Control 2 for two subdivisions. So far so good. And for the bottom one, let's do the same thing now for the bottom one. Now the bottom one I came to there. All right, we'll, we'll just go with that. Now I want to make these a little more uh, defined. So I'm gonna select, uh, I'm gonna turn off subdivision for now. Uh, control now. I'm gonna select uh, that ah, and that. Hold down shift that, control that. So I got them there, pull down shift and control to there, shift and control to there, so I get all the edges. And it's just subdivision back on. And I'm gonna press shift D for me increasing, I start pulling. And just say, I don't know if I'm going all the way to one. That didn't show up too well. Let's see how far we went here. And 0.94, pretty close. Okay, so we got that. All right, let's try, uh, hmm, let's see, let's try dropping it in, no, I don't want to drop it, let's do it down there. Uh, let's try uh, this to this, this to this, let's try an increase there, mm -hmm. and get that effect, so we get a little bit sharper there. All right, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. That to there, and hold down shift that to there. I don't know how much I did on the other side one. Get them equal. Right, let's see what I did here. 0.7 and 0.58. All right, we'll go to 0.7 then. may have to take this and GG, round it off a little bit, GG for edge slide. That looks okay. Now I'm going to turn on the cavity shader. And um, did I do that? Yeah. I'm going to go right away to this. This helps me see my hard edges a little bit more. Uh, we can get rid of that because we will be getting rid of that later anyhow. So let's now do, uh, from here, uh, control to there, and from here, control to there, shift E, come up. And that's not gonna be enough, is it? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what happens if we take this and scale Y0 to straighten it out, look from the side, and let's see if we eat extrude and it's just extrude it out. Okay, I think instead of extruding, we're just gonna pull it and that'll continue those 
edges. Okay, so we get that going on. Okay. Let's start making something at the back here. E and S for um, propeller. So not following any real plan here, just uh, something. Let's pull it out. Have to make a face and control B. Bring it way back and bring the segments up like this. Come back to that in a minute. I'm going to take this and just extrude it a little bit more. All right, I want to make some indents here. I'm going to give myself two edge loops and control B and pull roll back to zero and have some rectangular areas like that and select these. I want it far enough away from my curve so it doesn't affect the curvature. I'm going to try it, uh, let's see, look directly from the side. Above and, so I'm, and below. Okay, go on the other side. So we are where? Here. So we should have them all. Okay. I'm going to press I to inset like that. E and Alt S and I'm going to pull and do that. I'm going to drop an edge loop there. Drop an edge loop there. Select both of them and then Control B. Pull. And just round them. Uh, so I still want them a bit rounded like that. I just don't want to affect my curvature. Okay, that's all right. Uh, I might sharpen this up even more soon okay yeah that's I think that's okay let's grab that center edge look from the side and shift D bring it up P to break it out so there it is I'm gonna scale down a bit to make the propeller as screwed up we've got the subdivision on let's hide that for now and I'm gonna scale that out that down and let's say we pull this down maybe a bit just to the Z okay something like this let's go ahead and give it some thickness calculate outside and how's my subdivision okay let's pull this down and let's pull this up shade smooth I'm going to come in here actually and I'm going to select there and there and I'm going to scale this in the X a little bit more and then we'll put in edge loop control B do that kind of thing mm, might knock that up okay look from the side and uh, I just actually want to narrow it here a little bit more okay I'm going to do that and I'm going to, let's say, um, okay, let's rotate this in the Z a little bit. Cool. Let's, um, Set the origin to the 3D cursor. Uh, let's see how many how I want to do this. We'll try spinning. See if we can crash this. Pull that around there. We'll make this 360. And I'm gonna go for five of these. Select them all, all 10, recalculate outside, and come back to there. We'll go in here and we'll delete those bottom faces, I guess. Okay, so far so good. Um, let's take this piece, drag it up. Now we'll leave that one there. We'll bring another one in, just in behind there. We'll do another cut. Pull 
hold that in. If things slow down, just shut off the subdivision. And we'll put bolts uh, going around there. A lot of this stuff you would do in, in something like uh, Substance Painter, but I'll, I'll do them here. Uh, some of it I want in geometry. Um, I don't know how many edges I want. How many vertices I want. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring that there. I think I'm going to use uh, a smaller number, like even 16 is probably okay. face and I'll extrude it down and then I'll bevel this face back put like two subdivisions or something in shade smooth and see how she is on the surface there um, just double check okay uh, I kind of want it to be a skill on this head just a bit more substantial This is simple stuff, but okay. So where are my 3D cursors in the middle? I assume. Let's go in and let's, uh, let's look from the back. Let's make sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the origin of the 3D cursor. Let's go in, and we will spin in the Y again. Uh, 360. Uh, this time I'm going to go for like about 10 bolts. Yeah, like that. Select them, Alt and recalculate outside. I'll come back up to here and we'll see. Okay, I think that's the, they're actually too big now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, select them all, and I'm gonna press the period and individual origins and just S to scale, like that. And hopefully they're still in, and that's good. Make sure you go back to median point though. Just like that, and that's fine. Make sure, yeah, everything's okay. All right, so that's a start. We we'll couldn't do more stuff here, and we'll decide on the size of those blades if I like them, or maybe I'll do two. I was thinking of doing something here now. This is trickier um, with this amount of polys. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this. So I'm going to press um, I to inset, and I'm going to come in and uh, GG. And just manipulate this a little bit to try and get um, a shape that I would like. To do something, GG. Let's see if I like that. I do that. Actually, that's um, for the moment. Take that off and we increase to zero. And uh, just select this here, press I to inset, and just see what it's like going in. Put something there, okay. That's not bad, so I'm gonna back out of that. And I'm going to make it bigger, and maybe slightly different shape. But I wanna kind of round, so I'm gonna take that and GG. And this come up and down. Maybe there. And then I'll worry about that pinching later. I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna press I to inset and come in a bit more. And then I'm gonna come in and come in like that for now. And then it's just going to be a question of like manipulating this and trying to get a little bit less uh, stretching here. So actually I'm going to come back that way. And I do want a little bit of a lip as you'll see. I'm going to try taking that out. Okay, it's not wide enough. Okay, so now I am going to uh, expand these. Now usually when I do this, I would have made a copy of my model before I start screwing around here.
and then I can experiment freely and not worry about, about it. Uh, but I didn't, so let's take all this control plus and let's just scale it in a little bit. And now let's try just extruding it along its normals. I think that's going to be okay. I think I can probably touch this up. And I'm going to test taking these and bringing the mean crease down to zero just to see. You see? This is pulling because of the mean crease. I'm going to take that off. I may want to go one more on these uh, mean creases. And then I think I'm going to try to mirror this. So I got this as the same piece. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look from the side in wireframe and I'm going to box select. And I'm going to, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to come in uh, control plus one more. And I'm going to break it off. So let's hide that. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and this and these, and I'm going to put that in a new collection. I'm going to call this uh, propeller. I don't know if you spell it like that. Okay. So I just hide that. So I got this. So now I'm going to look from the front or the back. And I am going to come in here and mirror this over. And put the mirror up there, put on clipping. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do more work on this uh, in a bit, uh, and then like I say, some of it is going to be Substance Painter for various uh, details on there, but that's just a start for Blender Challenge 20 uh, vehicle, and mine is going to be some kind of exploratory sub. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time.